Today I'm going to show you how to wire up four-way switches and hopefully take some of the mystery out of how they work. I'll talk you through the types of wire that you need, how to connect those wires in the electrical boxes, and how to avoid those common DI wire mistakes along the way. What I'm about to show you isn't the only way to do it, but it's the way I like to do it because it makes the most sense to me. The four-way switch sits in between two three-way switches. As a matter of fact, even when you have more than three switches for a lighting system, you'll use four-ways for all but the first and last switch in the run. Before going further, if you need a refresher on wiring three-way switches, click the link at the top of the screen, which will take you to a three-way switch tutorial I recently uploaded. Then come on back and continue this video. Okay, now that you understand three-way switches, four-way switches should be fairly straightforward. The premise is the same as the three-way switch. Flipping the switch simply chooses path A or B to the next switch. As I mentioned, the four-way switch will sit between the two three-way switches. Now, there are several ways to do this, so I'm just showing you the method that makes most sense to me. Basically, a red wire and a black wire in the 14-3 Romex from switch 1 are both possible electrical routes to switch 2, the four-way. And a red wire and a black wire from switch 3 will create possible electrical routes from switch 2 to switch 3. That way, flipping the switch simply selects the route from switch 1 to switch 3. Black to black and red to red, or black to red and red to black. It just flip-flops them. I think of the four-way switch as the Chrissy Crossy train tracks route because it just crosses the electrical route from this way to that. To wire up a four-way switch, start with the ground wires and the neutrals. Like the three-way switch, connect all grounds together along with the jumper from the switch. Then connect the white neutrals together with a wire nut. Now for the black and red wires. The black wire and the red wire from the 14-3 coming from switch one each connect to the brass screws on the four-way switch. Then the black wire and red wire from 14-3 Romex going to switch three connect to the remaining black screws. That's it, super straightforward. With this setup, each switch has the power to turn on and off the light simply by switching the path used by the electrons. This configuration allows each switch to open or close the circuit independently without taking away the ability to open and close the circuit from the other switches. Pretty cool. After all three switches are wired up, I just give them a test in each position to make sure that the connections were done correctly. And that's it. No more switch mystery. After seeing this video, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, you can drill that ManCycle logo. If you'd like to see how I wired up the canless lights that these switches run, you can check that out by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.